morning, you two. We are up here on the mountain today and it's a beautiful morning and a beautiful morning to talk to you about roasting a whole chicken. Oh. <laughs> I have the baby here next to me and he's laughing at me, playing with his little cars. You wanna say hi, Angelo? <laughs> say hi. <laughs> So up here on the mountain, we don't have any farm animals or animals of any sort, but it is, you know, a dream goal of ours to perhaps one day have some. And everyone I speak to says that chickens are basically a gateway animal. <laughs> you get a few of them for the eggs, and the next thing you know, you have a full-blown farm with cow and goats, etc. And I think a whole chicken, cooking a whole chicken is a gateway dish to make you feel like a real from scratch home cook. And that's what I'm going to talk to you about today. And also, before we begin, it's super simple, so much more simple than you think it is. And it's so nutritious. And the best part is, it's really... Uh, a dish that gives you the feeling of cooking as your ancestors cooked in the sense of using every piece of the ingredients and wasting nothing. Saying show business never to have a baby or animals on the set because they're pretty distracting. <laughs> All right, let's head into the kitchen. You want to start by removing the gizzards from inside of the chicken, but don't throw them away along with the bones from the rest of the chicken after you've eaten it. Store them in the freezer to make a nice bone broth, which I'll talk a little bit more about in a second here. I'm going to start with two tablespoons of softened butter. I like to use Kerrygold grass-fed butter because it's more nutritious. And just make sure to spread it all over the chicken in the crevices, behind the wings, behind the drumsticks. You're going to want to make a mix of herbs and spices. This is what I used because this is what I had on hand, but you can really use any mix that you'd like. Just be sure to do about two tablespoons of each of them. And of course, if you're using less ingredients, you're going to want to make um, add some extra tablespoons to that. I'm going to want to mix it's about that much. I think I have about a quarter cup there in my hand. Spread it all around the chicken. Don't be shy. When it comes to herbs and spices, honestly, the more the better. One of the great aspects of roasting a whole chicken is using every part of the animal the way our ancestors did. Of course, as we know, nothing went to waste back in the day. And we modern folk have really gotten away from that, which is a shame because not only is it a sustainable way to live and to eat, but the things that you can make are really nutritious or tend to be really nutritious, including bone broth. So here are some bones I just collect after dinner, after we eat, I make sure to get nice organic or natural from the farm, grass fed animals, and I store them until I have enough, which it looks like I do here to make a batch of bone broth. Now be sure to subscribe so you're notified of when I make that video and release it. It's super easy to make bone broth, and it is so nutritious. There you go. That's how to roast a whole chicken and feel like a culinary champion. Bon appetito.